guys, Justice Curry. I have an amazing, epic adventure for you all. I am at a, as you can see, a storage unit, a collector, one of my good friends. Let's get him out here, Dominic. Dominic is in the, the depths of this storage locker. How you doing, my friend? Doing great. Good, good. Dominic is one of the OG collectors of G.I. Joe, and we are diving into his unit, finding all sorts of treasures. So thank you so very much for uh, letting me come and look at some of the stuff. And we're going to pan through, and you're going to see some out of control things. So let's kind of go in here, because I know there's some wind. We're, on a, we're in Michigan. Actually, no, I can't tell them where we're actually from. We're in uh, Portugal. Yes, we don't want anybody to find where this treasure trove is. But uh, let's kind of go in here. And as you guys can see already, we're making some piles, and you're going, Oh, Justice, what is that? We've got night strikers and all sorts of things, and night boomers and GI Joes. But just to get out of the wind so we can actually hear each other and have a little conversation. All right, Dominic. So tell me, how long have you been collecting GI Joes? Oh, I've been collecting my whole life. I, uh, I started out when I was born. My my uh, grandfather gave me my first 12-inch uh, Joe. Yeah. And I've been collecting ever since. Um, ever I, since you were little? Like you didn't take I a break? Little. Nope. I still have my original first couple hundred Joes. I still have some of my original vehicles. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. So I've been I've been holding on to it for a long time. And uh, the last few years I've been, well, last 10 years I've been in a storage unit yep. with my toys. So now we're going through and seeing if I can slim it down a little bit. Absolutely. And a lot of the vehicle stuff that's bulkier, he said, hey, you want to help me? I'm like, absolutely. I love hustling and bustling and shipping things out. We checked out his uh, his home and looked at some of the really, really nice. You have a full collection, don't you? From yeah. 82 to 94, we're going through them. And some of the foreign, rare, Tiger Force blizzards and army builders. So what, what's your favorite army builder? The bat. The bat. Cobra Bat, yeah. Battle Android Trooper. Now, roughly how many have you ever had at your high point? You uh, my high point, I had 640. <laughs> $640. But when you were probably collecting them in the late 90s, early 2000s, I'm guessing you could get them for fairly cheap. Yeah, I was getting most of my figures I got for $5 to $10. $5 to $10 complete bats. And now it's 2021 dating the video and bats are going anywhere from 75 to a hundred dollars oh, yeah. so and you've slimmed down some of them but you still have probably several hundred I'm assuming yeah probably got about 200 250 Two, and we're just dumping out bins of all vipers and crimson guards it was amazing and he thinned down some of his extra <coughs> army builders and extra uh, uh, figures as well so let's kind of look inside here I want to I want to show the folks at home some of the fun things that we're looking at. And it's not only G.I. Joe, right? No. You have other collections. Uh, Transformers, I got Star Wars, He-Man. Oh, wow, awesome. And we've just been going box by box, and he's going, well, I wanna keep this. We're putting it in one pile, I wanna sell this, and we're putting it in another pile and, and having fun. But I love, because some of this you probably haven't seen or really gone through um, in a while, so it's really neat. Like, he opens one box, and it was the Fun School Sky Striker box. He's like, oh, yeah, I'll keep the, I'll keep the vehicle, but you could have the box. And coincidentally, when, uh, when he came over not too long ago, we opened one of my boxes. Yep, and it was and, a Fun School And it was striker. a Fun School Sky Striker, and my box was roached, which means it's poor condition, and his box was pretty nice. So I'm already finding upgrades to my personal collection. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. Um... Ooh, look at we got up here. Just this is what dreams are made of. I absolutely love, love seeing. Let's we'll see if you find anything and people can join us. Uh, you want to open a box and maybe we'll find strike gold, sure. side side show, firefly. Oh. I know I have every convention figure and vehicle. No. Uh, ever since the beginning. That's a. Warthog from the oh 2000s. Oh my gosh, yes! I got every Sideshow Joe figure and vehicle. Or, really? No, not vehicle, just figure. Oh my, look! Night Boomer. Oh, convention. the convention Night I I Boomer. three or four of these. No. I oh. believe so. I have at least two. 
You're kidding me. No, I got. So one might be coming home with me potentially. Possibly. Yo, Possibly. I got yeah. goosebumps. Close to thirty uh, tomahawks, probably a dozen or anywhere from twelve to fifteen uh, sky strikers. Whoa. Two flags. There's my gentle giants. A couple of them. Holy moly! You know what? I never got to hold one. That's awesome. I wish they continued down the line. You know, they yeah. made the stalker and the rock and roll, I think. Or maybe yeah, that would have been nice. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> yep, just going through a bunch of toys. All right, we're going to keep going, folks. So we'll uh, we'll touch base in a little while. Let me kind of show you some of the things that we've looked at already back here. Um, you know, we're just opening up random things. And he's like, oh, yeah, I got some, some modern G.I. Joes or Hiss. But look at rapid fire mint on card. I've never owned this one with the VHS tape. The modern uh, Firefly for the classified series. Modern Hiss. All sorts of the San Diego Comic Con box. I am having a blast. Even if he didn't sell me a single thing, I am just loving it. And then a bunch of figures that we've been uh, wheeling and dealing over. Lots of fun. Black Major made these, um, uh, yeah, snake armors, thank you. Different color schemes and like an alley viper and the Canadian flag type color scheme. I like the red laser black uh, major figures and then you just have parts and pieces all down there. So stand by, we're gonna go down deeper down the rabbit hole. Hey guys, so it's been a few hours and I'll show you the progress. You, st you hanging in there? Yeah, we're still here. <laughs> That's right. The pile has grown of things that are for sale. Um, and we, we made our way all the way to the back of the unit earlier. We were about halfway. Right now we got all the way back. He's kept almost every single G.I. Joe convention set. He's thinning down a lot of his vehicles that take up space. But the figures, it's amazing. Some of these that I've never even seen before. Um, so we still have some more, uh, you know, digging to do, but we wanted just to take a break. And obviously I'm not going to be able to fit all of this in here, but I have a relative nearby. I'm going to make some trips and, uh, I mean, look at, what are these called again, Dominic? They're the Operation Flaming Moss from the G.I. Joe Club. That's right. These are super, super cool. Can you open that up and show people? Yeah. Kind of slides up, but as you guys can see, there's random boxes here there everywhere some night force which is awesome yeah these are the figures very detailed oh my gosh yes wow it's like a frag viper and a night viper so neat wow i love it um all sorts of things from rattlers to the cumby vis uh, down here, the, I think this was the Toys R Us exclusive Moray. Some modern stuff I'm not exactly familiar. I mean, it's the Hiss, but I don't know what the name of it was. All sorts of things. We're going to have to do some condensing as well. Um, this was kind of a, a funny story. Can you tell people about this? Yeah, I actually ended up picking up this from a store called Five Below um, for 40 bucks. It was sealed. When I opened it up, all the everything in it was still brand new, still on the uh, on the trees and still in the bags. Oh and my! Just like three years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that too funny? Oh, it, it never surprises me. All sorts of deals to be had if you're out there looking. Uh, steel warriors or steel monsters. That was a cool Mad Max type destroyer set. I have them in my collection as well. Some random figures and parts and pieces. It's going to be a lot of fun to go through. It's going to take me months upon months, but uh, it's a labor of love. So we'll get back with you guys at the end. All right. See ya. All right. As we're packing up some stuff, we noticed something pretty hilarious. So we're, this is definitely going to be hopefully two trips. Um, I'm optimistic, but we'll see. But what did we come across, Dominic? Oh, we came across a couple things that I had bought from you. No, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. So, uh, what's in this box? Let's see. It's an incomplete RC Crossfire. Oh my gosh, when I got tonnage of these things one time, I picked up... What? Uh, these are prized treasures I sent to you. Why aren't they on your nightstand? 
These are uh, worth hundreds have... of dollars, aren't they? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fozzie Bear. Uh, just know that if you ever buy stuff from me, you're always going to get some random stuff included, like GI yeah. Joe trading cards and Fozzie Bear. So we're going to keep going. How's it going so far, you think? Pretty good. Yeah. We got through quite a bit. We did. We definitely did. Um, we're chipping away at this pile, making individual deals, you know, ballpark. And he knows prices, I know prices. So we're making it mutually beneficial. So wish us luck. We're going to dive back in. So it was a long, awesome, epic day. How, did, how do you think everything went? Oh, it was a lot of fun. We it got to see a lot of toys I haven't seen in a long time. And... Absolutely, and we get to share it, that experience with someone else that loves toys and, you know, open these boxes. And he was showing me convention exclusive things that I'd never even seen before, like some really, really rare, awesome things that I'm going to have a picture slideshow at the end of this whole thing. So make sure you watch it because there's going to be some uh, G.I. Joes that you've never seen before. So uh, we're packing up. How much room? Look at we, we had a before picture. Now look at the after picture. We did. You couldn't. There was no walkway before. Like there was it was up here. So we took a really good chunk out of it and we packed up a little bit of the extra packing material we put in the back here. But otherwise, I mean, there's a AT-AT, a -AT, modern one, um, all sorts. I mean, every box is jammed, packed. The, uh, oh, the Night Striker, just boxes and boxes. I was able to get the VHS rapid fire. Um, it was crazy. It was absolutely a lot of fun. So we're gonna clean up a little bit around here so they don't kill us, because we had, that was a big pile of boxes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We so, probably had a good 30, 40 boxes. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Well, thanks again, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Until next time, guys. See ya. All right, so I got the second load back to my house. I brought it all into my garage, and this is kind of my downstairs little prep area, I'm gonna call it right now kind of cleaned it all off uh, what you're gonna see in a little bit it's going to be totally filled I started making trips and bringing some stuff in like this and unwrapping things and putting like the uh, the hisses and whatnot but this is all that I purchased from my buddy so I'm gonna go through each and every one unpack them see their completeness go through my inventory see if I have extra pieces, I mean there's dust, I'm gonna have to clean that off before I get ready to sell it. You know, find the vehicle, matched up with the box. I mean, there's a lot of little tedious work that needs to be done that I don't mind doing. Um, so we're gonna go through this and see what types of treasures, because we worked super fast. I mean, we were lightning going through this. But um, yeah, oh, all sorts of things. That uh, is gonna be fun, so stand by. And I'll update you when I bring all of this unpacked in there. Bye. <clears throat> yep. All right. It took me a whole day and a half to finally get everything unboxed, unpacked, and spread out in somewhat an organized fashion. But now I have the real work ahead of me. So let's just pan around and see kind of the extent and we'll kind of go down into uh, the different piles and subsections that we have going on. Um, even check out underneath here, it is packed to the max. Um, all the way over there, behind you, everywhere is toys, toys, toys specifically G.I. Joe's. Um, this gigantic pile is one of four piles of bubble wrap because a lot of these were already individually wrapped. So let's save this one. This is the end. I like this one the best. Um, so we'll kind of dive in on what we have going on here. Uh, like I said, it's mainly vintage G.I. Joe, but there's some modern G.I. Joe mixed in as well. Um, we have some Snow Wolves and gosh i can't this one's really neat the right uh, what is it the rifle range the cobra one i don't think i've ever had one complete i've had pieces and parts yeah the cobra 
rifle range. It's super neat to finally get all the pieces together in one section. Um, the modern fire bat for the Terradrome, a bunch of stuns, obviously the flag's always missing. Um, my beautiful wife actually got me a pic today. She sent me a picture and she said, hey, I got a, this friend that has a bunch of toys they're looking to sell for 50 bucks. And I look in there and I see a Viper uh, officer, sorry, Cobra officer from 1983. And I'm like, 50 bucks, buy it, buy it. And I dumped it out and it ended up having a slugger in there with uh, the top gun. And coincidentally, it had two guns and I needed one for an extra slugger that I got in this pick. Um, so thank you, wonderful videographer. <laughs> um, a lot of stuff, I mean, I hate parts and pieces and broken shells. He didn't have that. Like if there was broke, he collected um, mainly complete, which is awesome. There's gonna be some matching up later, but things like the, the Thunder Machine, it was probably on display for a long while, so it had a thick layer of dust. But what I ended up doing is, you know, dipping it in the bathtub, scrubbing it, spraying some, um, what is that stuff that I normally use? Armor Odeven. all on it, yep, wiping it down, oh. putting it in front of a- Armor all? Armor all. No yeah. kidding. A little trade secret. Um, armor all on it and it shines it up after I put it in front of a fan. All right, let's keep um, it going. Check this out. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, roughly 16 Hiss tanks. Um, probably one of the largest collections of Hiss tanks in Michigan or up there anyway. So lots and lots of Hiss. Um, hammers, I don't remember what this is, something Iron Grenadier. Uh, modern type GI Joes, I have no idea. I'm gonna have to do some research because parts and pieces, trying to match it up to figure out. It. Like I can look at a Mamba, I know what missiles look like for a Mamba. I can do a Mamba with no instructions, but when it comes to newer stuff, I'm a little rusty. You got a bunch of different types of vamps here, which are real cool. Uh, vamp 2s, but all modern vamps. Oh, this came from my wife's lot today. This one's pretty neat as well. Uh, the little battle game that you'd shoot like Nerf things back and forth, a board top game. Modern hisses, uh, Havocs, the Toys R Us, I think exclusive, or KB Toys Hiss, which is a neat red one. Um, notably, hey, check this out. Yeah, the Action Force version of the Vamp. So that is awesome, and it has the uh, the two little t gas tanks on the back. One of my personal favorites, these Humvees. Like, I think these are actually from uh, Godzilla from the late 90s, the Matthew Broderick one. But I love these Hummers. They look awesome, the Night Ops one specifically. Uh, Fun fact, of the two of us, guess which one of us has driven a Humvee? That would be... Not him. <laughs> True story. Uh, I looked at this at first, the Mauler, and I'm like, oh man, it's not complete, there's nothing on it. And I'm like, I wonder if the Heavy Metals mic was in there. So I start rattling it around, I hear things rattling. So I took the battery cover off, and it had the smoke grenades, it had these mud flaps and both, uh, or sorry, one of the antennas. So that was um, really neat. This uh, is one of my favorite toys down here. <laughs> the Dune. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever come across, I've had, I don't know, probably 30 of these over the years, but I don't think I've ever had one with the roll bar attached. For whatever reason, the plastic- Stop putting your hand in front of it. The plastic warps over time and this red roll bar always, always breaks, but I don't know if it was stored properly or what happened or it would probably pop off tonight and break, but I am very, very uh, thankful. First time I've ever got one with an intact roll bar. Um, let's go down here for a second. This is neat, some tomahawks. I think this is the Eagle Hawk, the modern version of it, because it's a little lighter, and then some tomahawks. Uh, you're probably noticing these down here. Pretty neat. The um, I think they're APCs, the uh, troop carriers. But noticeably, there are one, two. I think there's three Night Force ones. Obviously, complete uh, Steel Warriors or is it Steel Monsters? I'm pretty sure Steel Warriors. Uh, these are post-apocalyptic Mad Max, really heavy duty, made by Tonka. Um, but perfect for G.I. Joe scale. I had that one growing up. 
Um, I'm really liking these. This is probably one of my favorite things. Um, it came, he bought it years ago in a lot, but it's made of wood. It looks like someone constructed this out of wood and it's really heavy duty. Um, it's, ah, uh, I don't know. Look at someone used like a belt right here and all sorts of different parts and pieces from who knows what. Um, so it's like a piece of Americana. I really, really dig it. Same with this one. You know, some type of custom tank made of wood. Super heavy duty. And then a third one, a little more intricate. But um, see, there's like a uh, low lights backpack that they painted, the desert camel. They used all these different types of things, even a wood dowel type thing. And and spray painted it and some guy with really cool artistic ability was able to uh to make this tank so i, I dig it tons of sky strikers um some modern sky strikers over here three more eagle hawks non-constructed but complete so super happy about that the rhino i love this function of the rhino you push the back and it raises Beep. love that rhino you don't see every day the lanyard which is the second cousin to uh to gi joe just the cheaper knockoff but similar to the apc why is it second cousin not first cousin um because it's really or poor step quality sibling. let's let's go step sibling that sounds better um but they they use the mold for the apc like this and just kind of knocked it off and for much cheaper parents could buy this and, but I think it's cooler because it had all these different accessories that didn't come off a back hatch That wasn't in the original GI Joe one um, What else we got? Ouch. Oh before we forget some Star Wars items came in here big at at and huh? then the, the other one from the attack of the clones Some sky ravens is it? Yeah Tons of parts and pieces missiles came through here uh, almost to the couch, just right back here. The Toys R Us exclusive hydrofoil, that really awesome looking uh, camo. I used to, yeah, I, I don't come across them that often. The first general that I've ever gotten, I gotta put it together. Huge, huge thing. Back here, three more things. Uh, some really cool exclusives. I don't remember which ones they are, but uh, there's con exclusives or whatnot. Sky Strikers. Check this one out, a Cobra version. I love the paint style of it. And then finally, the third one is the modern Night Boomer modeled at, after the uh, vintage Night Boomer. So I can't wait to look those up, see what they cost, see if I'm gonna keep them, sell them, whatnot. I gotta put together the terror drone uh, real quick under here. I got stuff to do. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, the killer whale, and then you got the black one, the night striker. That's really neat. The night striker is just a shell. Bunch of Sergeant Slaughter Marauders ones. I've never had this one before. Now I got two. Uh, Rhino maybe? I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember. I'm drawing a blank now. Some other knockoff cheapies. This is like unlocking something in my mind. I think I had it as a kid. And then last little corner, a bunch of con exclusives, like the Sky Patrol, probably 2017-ish, the Battle Force one. Oh, God, I wanna open that. Uh, the one I'm digging a lot is this Zombie Killer. So the G.I. Joe convention had a limited run of these. Some other ones like the Shark. Eco Warriors. Um, I don't know if that one's an exclusive or not. Hawk. And he knew. I mean, he gave me good prices on a lot of these because they're not all complete. But he goes, "Hey, you're gonna make your money on some of these con exclusives because again, limited number, high demand means can be hundred, two hundred dollar. Who knows? Uh, another con exclusive hiss." Uh, what is that thing? The water moccasin dries it. What am I, I can't draw on a blank. Another con exclusive, things that you don't see that often. I've had this, this is my third one, the Tiger Force Hydrofoil. Unfortunately, it's not complete, but I'm gonna have to see if the parts are interchangeable with the uh, vintage one, if they're the same tone or whatnot, or if I'm missing it in some other box. 
Pretty neat uh, orange Hess. Uh, Hess, the Cat, is that what it called? Yep, the Cat 2, because it's not the Cat 1. Vintage was the Cat 1, series exclusive. A neat little walkie-talkie. Um, I'm loving vintage, vamp box, raider box, vintage. A uh, thunderclap, thunder, na 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 na. Uh, the only piece of Voltron, a sealed coffin of darkness vintage Voltron so I can't wait to check that out of uh, boxed just empty box Zartan but I'm sure I'll be able to complete one and put that together he had some again modern ones with the wolf and the hawk we have uh, rage I think it is the battle copter I know I'm going fast but I'm under time constraints with my wife my only videographer and I don't pay her that well so I have to uh, go by her terms the devil fish um i'm just they, canceling our plans with my daughter that's so, all right or my plans with her the night ops humvee the one that i showed earlier but this one i believe is yeah sealed wow um i showed that in my first video sigma six i didn't know they made these that's kind of neat to find out um the rattler the Target exclusive that looks just like the vintage Rattler. Awesome. And then more vintage boxes like the Warthog, a bunch of modern comic pack G.I. Joes. You know, you love them, you hate them. I think they're still really neat looking. Uh, you can get some cool looking G.I. Joes that are vintage style, but to have them still in the package is A-OK -okay in my book. Uh, you don't see these very often, the six packs like this one or the removable helmets the black crimson guards awesome probably my favorite i love the cobra commander in all red with baroness and then these uh what are they called range vipers but they're something else don't matter uh, a bunch of troopers interrogator yeah an arctic looking one oh that's where those boots come from Personal favorite, uh, 85 or is it 86 Vipers? Love them, but they repurposed them, made them look the same. And then this blah, blah one. Tons of other ones over here. And last but not least, I'll show you the Gentle Giant Stalker. Yeah, Gentle Giant's a company that remade several of these uh, G.I. Joes that looked like the old ones, but uh, made them a lot larger. So I'm going to have a little slideshow at the end, kind of showing off all the G.I. Joe. So that's the fastest wrap-up video in the history of Justice Curry. So take care, hit that subscribe button. Love you all.